hi everyone welcome to my channel let's learn before i give you a live demo of how to pass the no more platforms presentation test i want to give you a little basic lesson on how to do a pixel perfect alignment in powerpoint keep watching this short tutorial i will be revealing a couple of very useful tricks so that you will not have any problem aligning objects in powerpoint okay so let's begin first of all insert a shape in a blank slide I have taken a rectangle. Next I want to make few copies of this rectangle. You can do this by using the Ctrl plus D command on your keyboard. Now let's put them in 4 different positions. One in left, one in right, one at top and one at the bottom. Now if you want to arrange these 4 objects perfectly in any specific pattern you have to open alignment tools which are worried very deep in the powerpoint first you have to go to the home tab then arrange then align then you can choose how to align it will take four clicks every time to get there the better way is to add alignment tools to the quick access bar i have added the alignment tools here if you don't know how to add or remove things from the quick access bar, you can watch the video shown in i button. I will also put a link in the description. In this alignment panel, the last two options are alignment mode. You can choose only one of them at a time, either align to slide or align selected objects. If you select only one object in the slide, align to slide option will get selected by default. And if you choose more than one object in the slide, by default align selected objects option will get selected by powerpoint don't get confused we will look at both the options one by one first we will look at the align to selected objects option here all four objects are selected before i do any alignment action from the alignment panel i want you to notice that i have also added all these options on the quick access bar so that i don't have to open this panel again and again just one click on the quick access bar will be enough to take any action. This is align objects left, right, top and bottom. You can tell by just looking at the icon. Now let's select all four objects by pressing Ctrl plus A and see what happens if you click align objects left. What just happened? Let's undo this action by pressing Ctrl plus Z and now let me explain. When I selected all four objects and hit align objects left, the object at the extreme left becomes the reference object and the other three objects got aligned with the reference object. Similarly, when you click align objects right, the object at extreme right will act as a reference object and the rest of all selected objects will get aligned with it. The similar rule applies to align objects top and bottom. You also need to notice that the reference object does not move in these four cases. It remains stationary at its position. However, if you click align objects middle, you will see every selected object move from its original position towards the midline. Similarly, if you click align object center, all selected objects move towards the center line. In these two cases, all selected objects are moving and there is no reference object. You can't predict the final position of the selected object. So these two commands or actions aren't really helpful to use as I did in this example as you practically need at least one object stationary. There is a trick to use these commands effectively. I will show that in the later portion of this video. Right now let's see how align to slide mode works. Align to slide option works exactly as align selected object option. The only difference is in place of reference object, slides edges work as a reference line.
there are two more commands which you have to use very frequently distribute horizontally and distribute vertically these two commands will only work if there are at least three objects selected in align selected objects mode but right now we are in align to slide mode so only one selected object is sufficient because powerpoint will treat slides as is as two extreme positions and keep the selected objects in the middle distribute vertically command will keep equal gaps between all selected objects vertically note in this case slides upper edge and the lower edge will be treated as two extreme positions here all these gaps are equal let's use the same command in align selected objects mode Here object on top and the object at the bottom will not move but a space between them will be equally distributed in all selected objects vertically. A space between the slides upper edge and the objects on top will remain unchanged. Similarly the space between the object at the bottom and the slides lower edge will also remain unchanged. Distribute horizontally works very similar to distribute vertically command. The only difference is action will be taken on the horizontal axis. Let's talk about the trick to use align middle and align center commands. These commands will be used to put a smaller object in the center of a big object. Let me insert a bigger object. I will take a circle this time. Let's change its color to red and send it back. Now if I want to put this rectangle in the center of this circle, what I have to do is drag the rectangle inside the circle and select both the objects and click align middle and then align center and there you have the rectangle perfectly aligned in the center of the circle. Note it is necessary to bring the smaller object inside the bigger object otherwise both the objects will move from their positions and alignment with other objects in the slide will get disturbed. There is one more very useful trick or you can say shortcut that will speed up your alignment job. Let's take an example. You have an object here and want to make few copies of this object and align them horizontally. To do this simply select the object and press and hold control plus shift keys and drag the object horizontally or vertically wherever you want. It will make perfectly aligned copies of the object. If you do the same thing by using the copy paste option, it will take a lot of time. If you simply want to move an object horizontally or vertically without making any more copies, then select the object and press and hold the shift key. Now you can move the object in any direction vertically or horizontally and the object will remain aligned to its initial position. That's the end of alignment tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. In the next video, I will show you how to complete pixel perfect alignment task given in No More Platforms presentation test. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.